Hello everybody and welcome to another speed build video. Now I apologize for my voice because um, it's kind of loud outside of this room that I'm recording in so um, <laughs> that's kind of a problem. So today I decided to make a ring-tailed lemur exhibit. Now um, the reason I decided on this was because I was just looking, I was thinking you know I don't ever practice very much with um, smaller animals like primates and stuff and I thought hey you know maybe it'd be fun if we tried something new and I got some inspiration for this by the tur from the Taronga Zoo in um, Australia I'll put the photo here and I decided to put the water around the entire exhibit kind of like how the Taronga Zoo has it except I didn't put any uh, some of the other stuff in there but that's where I got the water idea from Hold on, I'm gonna shift real shift over real quick. And um going across from that we have uh some little platforms I made. This was supposed to be or this is going to be a house you will see. Just a little um idea for where they would have a nice little place to rest that's sheltered aside from the top of the the tree house. I'll just call it the tree house. And um here I am, experimenting, trying to get the perfect wall height, and I'm making the door out of L's because the one height posts are too big, and, um, let's see, what do I do? Oh, right, and I add these little panels here to get it all the way around and make it look even. It worked out fine. Here I am, experimenting with, um, all the logs that they, all, these are just tons of items in the scenery section that are logs made for making little climbing sets. And you know, I'm kind of happy with how this all turned out. Um, I used some cabinets to make a little house for the- or another little box, or a little quote-unquote box for the lemurs. Obviously they're not gonna climb on it in the game, but you know, it's the idea that counts, you know, you know? And um, added some more trees, um, places for them to climb. Kind of just improvised a lot of this, and I mean, obviously it's- it's good to go in with a plan, but sometimes it's fun to just make stuff and experiment, which is kind of what this whole thing was. I spent quite a few quite a few hours on this, um, and not a few hours, at least like one and a half hours on this whole thing. Here I am again, adding all my logs around. I added some of the hay bedding around. I thought that was just something nice, I guess, considering there isn't actually a soft spot for them to really lie down that I put anywhere, like anything inside the house. I was like, you know... I feel like this is fine. Here I am going crazy with my plants as usual. I had some rock I added some rocks around the edges of the exhibit, which um you know I liked how it turned out. They blend in nice and they add a little bit more. They separate the water from the rock. And then um going over, I didn't add any really extravagant plants, which I'm happy I didn't, because like it makes it feel like an exhibit, but it's not bringing all the aspects from the actual jungle in which the um, ring-tailed lemurs would live, so you know I'm pretty happy with the turnout of all the foliage and added all the other little added pieces. Alright, um, and then here I was adding my different colors of dirt. Now, I love adding different colored dirt, like it just, to me, it makes everything look better, makes it look like the animals are walking in more places than one, and where the quote-unquote trails are for the animals. Um, and I added some animal enrichment items, and I love make adding enrichment items because to me that just makes it all the more real. Because, you know, whenever you go to the zoo in real life, you see, like, a ball or a tire in an animal's enclosure, so I'm- I always like adding that. And I always like to add a water bowl or food around the exhibit somewhere, usually out of sight, which is- it's very useful to have the bedding there so you can place it underneath the hay so then nobody sees it, but it's there. Um, and then going around the entire exhibit, this took me a while, I added rocks all the way around because I hated standing on the edge and looking over and being able to see the flat, nasty, straight, expanse of gray rock looking stuff. And I walked around, took care of everything real quick, making sure everything was functional for them, and then I built the perimeter. And the video is, at this point, the video is just me adding stuff around this entire exhibit. You know, I really liked building this, it felt like some, a nice change in pace, and um, the animals use their exhibit, so I feel like um, I've succeeded. 
Also, I'm adding all these- the reason there's so much like wooden pieces around in the- within the fence, like different sectors of the fence and it's wooden, is because the type of fence I was using, the um, porpoise fence I believe it's called? I don't remember exactly, but um, that fence uh, it's curvy, so you can't place it all in- all over the place without making it curved. So the video kind of ends right around here, I'm just placing around stuff to make it look better for the scenic clips. So thanks for watching, hope this inspired you, and on with the cinematics!